All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Eric Silva. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Villa Belha Espirito Santo, Brazil, Eric Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented shit. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy, so every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. That's a big strike right there. Collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Let's go. 
trying to double up on that jab. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly he is starting to find his timing not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. That shot blocked by Silk. Way to hide that leg kick. Again, they clinch. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Silva. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Silva's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, damaging knee to the head. And now he's got the tie clutch. Big kick land. Well, he we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice counter with the hook shot there by the Korean Super Bowl. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. He blocks the punch. Oh, big punch land. Straight right, he misses. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Silk. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Silva gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. 20 seconds left. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Cable inches right 
Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. And they separate. Nice straight punt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the trading room are going to pay off. Head kick partially blocked. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, nice. Working the body to great effect here, DC. If you're the opponent, I got to think you lower the guard at some point. You got to lower the guard. You lower the guard, he opens up the head. Look for the opponent to go back up top. He starts to realize his opponent's not dropping his arm. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Silva's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Battle for position here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they clinch once again. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Silva. Back and forth we go! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Silver. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keeping busy, doing great work. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Silva. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It's okay. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Right hand punch the clinch. And now he's got that tight clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Final seconds here of round number two. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh! What a round.
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened. Oh! News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. An uppercut lead it. Well, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, he's hurting, he's hurting. Oh, no! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done, he's done! Clipped him with the right hand there. Powerful leg kick lands. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Choi's shot there is blocked. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body and done. Every time his opponent tries to get close. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Three minutes to go in round three. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right hand. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the edge. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of... Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near-perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. He's going to win it. smiling ear to ear and why not after a knockout like that i need to take it to the after party today. i mean this is what dreams are made of you dream of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork